So I'm Joy Johnson and I'm working on a master's degree in horticulture. The focus of my research project is strawberry cultivar evaluation in a greenhouse system. My research will help growers learn what the best cultivars to grow in a greenhouse are, especially for their own purposes if they're looking for a more hardy, shippable strawberry for instance versus a more sweet strawberry for a fresh market. So outside of the greenhouse um, there's some more lab work that we do and so I have two undergraduates that help me with that. Abby helps me with the texture analysis portion um, doing texture analysis on the berries and then Leah helps me with fruit quality analysis which includes measurements like pH, TA, and soluble solids of the strawberry juice. Um, my name is Abigail Bope and I'm majoring in zoology with a minor in horticulture. Right now I'm working with Joy on texture analysis so we're doing a quantitative measurement of firmness on the berries. I've learned how to work the texture analysis machine and what it does. I've also learned how to take data measurements of the berries, so like what's the canopy measurements, the crowns and stuff along those lines. Um, this is the best job I've ever had, so I do recommend it to everybody. Um, it's just really cool to learn what goes into making the berries we buy at the store and the grapes that go into wine. My name is Leah Gershio, and I am an undergraduate double majoring in agroecology and Spanish. So I'm helping Joy with her cultivar study. Um, so today I'm doing a variety of berry analysis. So I'm testing the pH and bricks of the strawberries that she's collected from that trial. So I've learned a lot of technical skills, um, some of the pH testing and the bricks analysis, um, but also just kind of generally how the research process works and um, just general info about grad school, but also specifically grad school at NC State and the different programs that are available. I don't know exactly what I want to do after I graduate, but I do think that working in the lab and helping with the different projects is exposing me to a lot of different uh, issues and aspects of research that I'm just it's good to know about um, and I think will inform my decisions moving forward should I decide to go to grad school. Um, but even if I don't, I think I'm learning a lot that's going to help me moving forward. Yeah, so the project should be wrapping up around the end of May, beginning of June of this year, 2023. And then we will start reviewing the results and writing after that. 